Welcome to lockdown vlog number five. I have a few interesting things that I would like to show you today. But first, let's get some coffee. Yes, there it goes. What's up outside? Well, again, it's cold, but it still is a beautiful blue sky. So I'm feeling pretty much okay. I'm timing all my shots. So here we go. Stop it. And here we have a nice cup of coffee. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you today is this thing. Now, now let me let me put this a little bit further away. This is a radio, transistor radio. This is the Bayatso Sport, made in Germany. This machine is exactly the same age as I am. This is from 1965 and it would cost you probably two, three or four weekly wages to pay for this thing. Now this is a very interesting thing and it's funny, the reason I have it, well I am interested in sound. So not only a good system but if it is about radios, what is a radio with a good sound? So that's where the audiophile hobby comes in again. Um, this thing sounds very good. This is uh, a German project, so it is good. And one of the reasons, because this is being used every day, but not by me. I hate radio. So why do you have a thing like that? Well, because of this thing uh, I found it on Craigslist uh, for not too much money and then it's the hobby you need to have it but my girlfriend who is here in the weekends as you know she she is the greatest she doesn't mind me having all this equipment now I put this one on a, some kind of Chinese table to give it a bit of a Chinese vibe um, but most of these things, there's an order in which you switch it on and what button do you use. And I have uh, remote controls, but maybe you have the same thing. You have a lot of equipment and the rest of the family has no idea how do I put it on. And she does her um, little workout every morning, every evening. And she likes to have some music with it. Well, this is the easiest way to get there. Um, now, this thing looks pretty nice, but there's a few nifty things to this thing also. Um, first of all, Nieren. Check the zoutmeter op nierstichting.nl slash zout. Nierstichting. Je nieren zijn je leven. Koroplast heeft antwoorden. The sound is uh, pretty good. In order to make sure you get even better sound what they did this is why you can rotate the handle is you can place it like this let me see if i can find another station so what you can do is did have it a little bit work like a horn and reinforce the sound because of the flat surface it has on the side. Um, it's probably around news time so there is no music, my bad. Um, long wave, short wave, uh, mid wave, long wave. There's a car over there because one of the tricks there's a connection on the back you could slide it into a holder into your car and have this same thing play in your car and this symbol I do not know what it is it looks like uh, you could get an email on it 
I don't know. But just a quick look at the Bayazzo Sport and if you need a transistor radio. These things are great. They are cheap now. They are old, so if they are still working, and most of them are, they sound great. But these things were expensive back in the day. Um, what else is going on? Well, the sun is shining. I did my first tryouts with... Let me see. Can you see this? This is the Zoom. Uh, H4N um, this is a microphone and Andrew brought me the SD card for it so I could do my first tryouts and well that's very promising but you'll be getting that uh, later um, oh, today I'm going to change the Ocelias for the big lens see how this works I'm trying to get to the end of this week, begin uh, next week, to have the review for the tube amp ready. Um, but then there is one other thing that I want to show you today. <clears throat> because in our nice little hobby, what we need, of course, is... Is this too dark? I brought my little light. Let me put it on. Is this better? This is better. Um, we need internet, of course. So this fridge box, as they call it. This is my router. I have it flat on its belly, so I could see easier uh, the connections on the rear. Um, this is where the internet enters my home and the, wi the this router is pretty good the Wi-Fi of this was I was not very satisfied with it so I got this ubiquity this is being used just for uh, transmitting the Wi-Fi come on transmitting Wi-Fi in my house and these Ubiquities, uh, they are great. So what we have here is on well, on this NAS, I have most of the uh, music that I have uh, stored on a NAS, and this is the NAS. This is the personal cloud from a friend of mine. He is doing photo um, Photoshop, and this is his external backup this is his cloud um, this is this was my first NAS this is the Lassi too big unfortunately um, well it needs a repair because I like the looks of this thing much better than all the white glossy uh, boxes and there's some more uh, external HDDs that I have connected to the NAS via USB um, and that stores a lot of the uh, movies and uh, high resolution music things like that um, oh yeah and the last thing this is a power filter um, I used to use this in my um, music room over here there you see the lens that are going upstairs right after this and over here where I have the the all the analog uh, VHS uh, the DVD VHS and a laser disc over here probably also too dark but this is the Dectet uh, uh, power center from PS Audio and it will give you 10 filtered uh, power outlets. So that's what I'm using to feed all the things that you see here. So this is 
the upgrade. The PS Audio was the upgrade for this thing, so I had this thing left and I decided to put it into the uh, internet system in my closet. So, um, I'll write two more things. I, over here, focus. This is where my uh, dedicated power line for upstairs, because we are right below the, the, the power system, the audio system. This is my dedicated breaker, and the blue Furitech you see over there going upstairs, that is what is feeding all the equipment upstairs. And uh, this one over here, the gray one, is the Ethernet cable going also upstairs. And it took us about two days to find um, the way from here to upstairs, because this building is nice to live in, but the way it is built is well, let's just say it has been built stupid. So we go back up to see where this enters again. Mm -hmm. So over here, there you see the gray cable, which is the internet cable. This is the Furutech box with two power outlets um, that is connected to the blue Furutech uh, power cable that you saw coming from downstairs. And there's two Oyaida cables uh, running to... Well, one of them is running to the um, PS Audio, another PS Audio, but they just make great power projects the regenerator, so this one is being fed by one of those two lines this is five outlets and all the stuff that you see above here is connected to that one now these kind of tube amps you do not connect to a power filter you feed them straight from the uh, from the power outlet right over there that's the other one and over here you have the cable getting into another PS Audio um, power strip this is the juice bar 2 this is not a filter this is just a very well built power strip and um, this one is feeding the tube amplifier at the moment but I showed you the internet so there's the gray cable over there coming okay wait as you can see there it's coming out of the wall and Below here, there you see a Ethernet hub. So I have one line coming in, but of course the Chromebox needs internet, the uh, the Blue Sound needs it, the Oppo needs it, and every now and then there's guest players who need uh, internet. So let me see if I can show you right behind here um, yes there you can see the I taped it under the rack so you wouldn't see it and from there the Ethernet goes to all the different pieces of equipment I don't know how well it was to see that but that's what I wanted to show you for uh, today um, remember, these vlogs are pointless. The only reason I do this is to waste some of your and my time during lockdown. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and I have decided to try and keep making a daily vlog until we are done with this global mess. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but um, well, this is my aim. As long as I have the idea that you like me doing this, I will keep doing them. And I could use input in questions and suggestions. I already got some, but um, well, if you have more, if you have another suggestion, please uh, leave them in the comments below and I will try to address them. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, uh, tomorrow.